Hello and welcome to today's episode of Dungeon Dives. We're going to talk about the Scarlet Monastery, so let's just jump right into it because there's a lot to cover here. We can first start off with the Horde, I guess. Onto the Scarlet Monastery is the main quest for Horde, and it's given by Vare Mathras in the Undercity. Hearts of Zeal is a quest where you pull the hearts out of Scarlet members, which is pretty brutal. But you need to do the Going Going Guana quest, which has you going into Razorfan Kroll first. Compendulum of the Fallen is a quest given to you by Sage Truthseeker in Thunderbluff. What's funny about this quest is the Tarin goes on about how they hate the Forsaken and don't trust them. So for this reason, undead players cannot get this quest. This is the only quest that I know of where it excludes a single race in a faction. If you guys know about any other quests that do this, I'd love to hear about them. Test of Lore is a super long quest chain that's a total of 10 quests, so it's a lot to go over. For this reason, I'm just going to link the quest chain in the description so we aren't here all day. Just know that this part has you going into the Scarlet Monastery and has you picking up a book in the library. Next, let's go to the Alliance. The main quest for the Alliance is In the Name of the Light, and it starts off with a small chain you'll need to do. It starts off with you talking to Brother Crowley in Thurwin, who sends you over to Desolus. Here you'll need to kill a bunch of level 37 to 38 skellies and go back to the guy you got the quest from, and he'll send you over to South Shore. You'll then finally get the Scarlet Monastery quest. Mythology of the Titans is another quest located in Ironforge to grab a book. Pretty simple one. For all you mages out there, you have a class specific quest no matter what your faction is. First, talk to your class trainer in your main city, and they'll tell you to talk to Tabitha in Duskwillow Marsh. She'll tell you to go to Shimmering Flats and talk to Turth, and then you have to talk to this chicken and type slash beckon, and then he'll turn into some dude and Look, all you mages are weird as hell, so just go back to Turth, and uh, he'll uh, tell you to go to Scarlet Monastery, which has you grabbing a book. So Scarlet Monastery doesn't have a lot of quests, but the main reason why people run it is for the amazing gear that it offers. For clothies, it's great, but for male wearers, it's even better. Keep in mind that since this is in the level 40 range, that means warriors, paladins, and shamans and hunters will want some of this loot because these two can use male armor at level 40. For the Horde, it's easy to get to the Scarlet Monastery. You just walk through Tearsful Glades and you'll be good. For the Alliance, well, it's kind of a different story. Since this is Horde territory, you'll need to go on a bit of an expedition. Start in South Shore and head through Alterac Mountains and follow up the shore to the lake. When you reach the Wall of Lordaeron, you can wiggle yourself up the wall over here, and when you jump to the other side, face the mountain and strafe left and spam jump, and you can just weasel your way over to the other side. I can't see why this would not work in Classic, but if it doesn't for whatever reason, you can swim across the lake and just walk through Silver Pine and across Tearsfall. So Scarlet Monastery is split into four small mini dungeons. Graveyard, Library, Armory, and Cathedral. The catch is the level range is super wide. Graveyard is the lowest level one with mobs ranging from 30 to 32, Library is 30 to 35, Armory is 32 to 42, and Cathedral is 37 to 42. So you can either do some of the lower level dungeons and then come back and do the higher level dungeons like Armory and Cathedral, or you can just do every single dungeon if you're around level 38 plus. For these dungeons, almost each pull is going to be a pack of mobs, so mages are really good here because of polymorph, but really any CC will be beneficial. Rogues are also good to open up doors for Armory and Cathedral, but we'll get more in depth with that later. We'll start with Graveyard since it's the lowest level one and it's the easiest. When you enter the monastery, it's going to be the portal on the very left. The first room is the torture room, and let me tell you, whew, this place just hits way too close to home. Please, please, I can't take any more. Just, just give me a blue post or a release date or anything, please. I just want to play classic. <laughs> In the very right of this room, Interrogator Vicious will be waiting for you. He's face roll easy and he drops a dagger. The Horde should talk to Voril on the stretcher to get his quest where you just need to give his ring to an undead in Tarn Mill. Walk through the graveyard and be on the lookout for rare mobs that spawn. There are three rares that can spawn in basically any location where you see big clumps of undead. Look, I, I ran this like 12 times searching for rares, but I didn't find a single one. I swear they exist. So, uh, 
the first one is the fallen champion who drops a two-handed sword leather gloves and a cloth helm next we have azure the sleepless who drops a wand cloth legs and a necklace finally we have iron spine who drops a ring a one-handed mace and a male chess piece head into the crypt and kill the final boss blood mage thalnos he has magey spells but nothing you should specifically look out for he drops some cloth shoulders and an offhand item when i said this place was easy i wasn't kidding so without further ado Let's move on to the library. The entrance to the library is on the right side of the main room, so just head straight forward when you exit the graveyard. The first room in the library dungeon is the dog courtyard. In the room to the right, there's Houndmaster Loxky, who is chilling with his three dogs. CC a couple of the doggies, and remember, druids, you can use hibernate on them as well. Focus the Houndmaster first, and when you start killing him, kill him as fast as possible because he does enrage. He drops a staff, some leather gloves, and a unique item that lets you summon a dog to fight by your side. But unfortunately, it only has three charges. All right, go get him, buddy. Oh, look at it. Look at you. You're getting him good. No! The actual library can get super hairy. All the mobs are pretty clumped up, and it's pretty claustrophobic. So make sure you're pulling the mobs and LOSing them behind a wall so you don't accidentally pull more. When pulling groups, make sure you kill the chaplains first, since they do heal, and then I'd probably focus on the monks next. When you enter the library, the first room on the left is going to have the book needed for the Test of Lore quest. In the bluish room, you can pick up Mythology of the Titans for the Alliance, and in the next room, you can grab Compendulum of the Fallen for Horde and Ritual of Power for you mages. Speaking of books, this dungeon is pretty cool for all you lore junkies out there because there's just probably like a dozen books that you can read that go over random bits of the lore. And I'm sure this is what they do a lot in their free time. Well hey guys, uh, welcome to the first ever book club for the Scarlet Crusade. I'm sure all you guys read the book for this month. So, uh, does anybody have any opening thoughts? Yeah, like, I think this book just really, like, solidified my hatred for dead things, you know? You know what, Tobias? I, like, uh, totally agree with you. And what do you think about the book? Uh, yeah, d don't like them, them, them undead guys, you know? Do it! I've come for your head! <laughs> Excuse me, friends. <laughs> Sounds like I have some business to take care of. <laughs> okay, stop, stop, stop. It's really not that dramatic. Arcanus Dolan has a group AoE and a group Silence, so have your range stay far, far away from him. He also has a Polymorph and an Arcane Shield, which makes him immune to all damage. When he casts his shield, he'll instantly cast Detonation right after. When he's channeling this spell, it's your job to run away as far as possible from him because he does massive AoE damage. He drops a robe, some cloth shoulders, a staff, and a caster dagger. It's also super, super, super important that you grab the Scarlet Key from the box in the room as well. You need the key to open up the doors to the armory and cathedral sections, or you can just have a rogue pick lock the doors. Let me in. Let me in. We'll start with the armory. A large majority of this dungeon is just trash. It's pretty claustrophobic like the library, so just LOS the mobs behind the corner and be mindful of the patrolling mobs. The Myrmidons will be your top priority because they do high damage and have an enrage at low health. Once you slowly work through the whole dungeon, open up the door to face Herod, the Scarlet Champion. He's got a cleave and a whirlwind. When he starts spinning, run away. It's as simple as that. And when he gets the lower health, he'll enrage, so kill him quick. I know it's super tempting for casters to sit up top here and just rain down spells, but when Herod dies, 20 non-elite Scarlet trainees spawn in the doorway and run down the stairs. So if your casters are sitting up there, they're gonna get instantly deleted. Wait until they run down the stairs and then have your tank charge in and group them all up and then you can just AoE the crap out of them. Herod's loot table is a warrior's dream. He drops shoulders, a helm, a kick-ass axe, and some pants. So the Scarlet Leggings are part of a bigger set called the Chain of the Scarlet Crusade, and the rest of the items just drop off of random mobs within the dungeons. So, uh, good luck trying to get that. The Scarlet Trainees also have a small chance to drop a Scarlet Crusade tabard as well. Identity theft is not a joke, Jim. Millions of families suffer every year. Okay, we can finally do the last part of the Scarlet Monastery, the Cathedral. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. The trip to the actual cathedral is pretty easy, just like all the other dungeons. I recommend having your party chill out in the pool and just pull each mob into it just to be careful. When you get to the actual cathedral, open up the door and pull each pack of mobs outside and around the door. If you just charge into the building, 
things are going to get hectic really, really quickly, and you can accidentally pull additional mobs. Specific mobs you should look out for are the abbots because they heal, and the champions because they hit really, really hard. Once you've cleared the main section, go right and into this cubby, and click on the torch to open up the secret doorway to kill High Inquisitor Fairbanks. He has abilities, but you probably won't notice them because you kill him really fast. He drops cloth shoulders, leather bracers, and male boots. Now before you go pulling Mograin, be sure to clear every single mob in the cathedral or else you're going to have a really really bad time. Mograin has a stun, divine shield, and crusader strike which increases the holy damage dealt to you and stacks up the five times. If you have a priest to dispel the magic, I'd highly recommend it. Once you've killed Mograin, she will arrive. Mograin is fallen. You shall pay for this treachery. High Inquisitor White Mane casts Holy Smite, Heal, and Power Word Shield. When she gets to a certain percentage, she'll force everybody in the party to sleep and resurrect Mograine with full health. Now you'll need to fight both of them at once. Focus down White Mane and then kill Mograine. This fight lasts a while, so if you have potions, I'd strongly recommend them. The High Inquisitor drops a cloth helm, a neck, and a mace, and the commander drops a shield, a two-handed mace, male gloves, and male leggings. Congratulations, you've just cleared the Monastery of the Scarlet Threat, and you can enjoy all of your fresh loot on your journey to 60. Excellent! Hello, hello, and thank you all for watching this episode of Dungeon Dives, and thank you to the amazing people like Lagging Balls and Jude and Laster who support me on Patreon. And you can too if you visit my link down in the description. I hope you all enjoyed today's episode, and I'll be back very soon with more videos. Hugs and kisses to you all, and I thank you all for your support. Toodles.